Good evening, Deidre. President Trump just wrapped up here moments ago. This is the home stretch in the 2020 presidential campaign. He's making five stops across the country today, including right here in Rome, Georgia. The presidential election is less than two days away. President Trump is campaigning today in Michigan, Iowa, North Carolina, Georgia, and Florida. Trump! Go Trump! Four more years! The president says he's building momentum. Very agitated. You know how angry he is? He's so angry. You know why he's angry? Because he's losing. That's why he's angry. No, it's very agitated. I don't think he knows he's losing. I don't think he knows anything, actually. Senator Kamala Harris is in the state today telling voters how important the state is on Election Day. You're going to decide who's going to be the next president of the United States. And so I am back in Georgia to thank you for all you've been doing these years and these months and these weeks and these days. Harris even mentions the president's record on coronavirus. Nine million people have contracted the virus with untold long-term health consequences. Doctors are talking about things like lung scarring. And the thing is, it didn't have to be this way. But Trump supporters at the rally in Rome say the president has handled the coronavirus well. He did an excellent job with the coronavirus. The original projection was like 2.2 million to die and 220,000. While one death is not good, but still, we've done a good job with it. Now, the president is ending the night with a rally in South Florida. In Rome, Georgia, Jayla Woodfield, Fox 5 News.